Hello everyone, my name is Anya Kelly. I'm the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Science Education at Trinity College Dublin. I'm going to talk to you about the degrees in science and mathematics that we offer at Trinity. Our degrees cover all aspects and areas of science and mathematics that you may be interested in. And these are Tier 060, Biological and Biomedical Sciences, Tier 061, Chemical Sciences, Tier 062, Geography and Geoscience, Tier 063, Physical Sciences, Tier 035, Theoretical Physics, and Tier 031, Mathematics. In this presentation, I want to give you an overall view of what studying degrees in science or mathematics at Trinity is like, what you'll learn, and how you can use your degree after graduation. The first question is, why study these subjects? Science and mathematics are wonderful degrees to study because they allow us to learn more about ourselves, our planet, the living organisms we share our planet with, and to study the universe. Science and maths also help us to address some of the major challenges facing humanity and facing the planet, and these encompass all areas covered by Trinity's different degrees in these subjects. These challenges include addressing some of the negative impacts humanity has had on the planet, the fact that the Earth's natural resources are being diminished because of our appetite for consumer goods, the impact of climate change and pollution. Also, major medical challenges, antibiotic resistance, the fact that we have the technology now to edit the genome and the potential ethical consequences of that. And of course, science and maths allow us to explore the mysteries of our universe. The importance of these degrees is clearer than ever as we continue to face the challenges posed by COVID-19. Trinity academics have been at the forefront of Ireland and the world's response to COVID-19. Skills in areas such as immunology, molecular biology, chemistry, mathematics and statistics have all been fundamental to understanding how the SARS-CoV-2 virus spreads and the effects of the virus on the body, the development of vaccines against the virus, and also of treatments for those who develop symptoms. So why should you study science and maths at Trinity in particular? It's summed up by these four words, expertise, facilities, community, and opportunity. Trinity has some of the world's best scientists and mathematicians, along with world-class research facilities. And if you study here, you'll be taught by these world-class experts and hear directly from them about the work that they are doing and the new discoveries they're making. Also, when you start your degree, from day one, you become part of Trinity's community of STEM students, technicians and academics. Your education is a collaborative effort between you and those who are teaching you. That happens whether you're in the lecture theatre, the lab or the computer lab, or even out on fieldwork, depending on your course. You also have the opportunity to engage with cutting edge research all the way through your degree, and that will culminate in your capstone project. Our present excellence is built on a legacy of achievement. An example of that is our two Nobel laureates in science, Professor Ernest Walton and Professor William Campbell. That reputation puts us in a category of excellence at third level. Trinity is the only Irish university and one of only 23 in Europe that is part of the League of European Research Universities, along with Oxford, Cambridge and others, that are noted for their achievements in research, the generation of new knowledge. Also, Trinity graduates have outstanding career prospects. We are the number one university in Europe for six years in a row for producing entrepreneurs, and our graduates are rated first among employers for reputation and outcome. When you come to Trinity, the education you receive is characterised by key features that are built into your entire curriculum and student experience. Co-curriculum reflection recognises that students learn outside the classroom as well as inside the classroom through engaging with student life and extracurricular activities such as internships and volunteering. We've developed tools that students can use to identify how these activities shape their personal and academic development. Partners in Learning describes how students develop a teaching and learning relationship with academics during their degree through innovative teaching methods and creative assessment methods. Trinity is an international university that collaborates in global educational and research networks. Global mobility means that in addition to exchange opportunities in different countries, students will also study with peers and be taught by academic staff from all over the world. Trinity is committed to preparing our students for the ever-changing challenges of the 21st century workplace. Through the employability feature, Trinity supports development of students' research and leadership skills that prepare them for future careers. I'd like to discuss the three remaining features in the context of the science and mathematics degrees, 
These are our open modules, Trinity electives and the capstone project. The structure of our four linked Trinity science degrees is shown here. The structure is similar regardless of which degree you're taking. Students complete 60 credits in every year. In the first two years, you'll take a variety of foundation modules before specialising in the third and fourth year in your preferred option. And there are different options open to you depending on which degree you're registered for. In the first three years of your degree, you have the opportunity to take electives or what we call open modules. These open modules are outside your course subject, but are complementary to it. In science, that means that students in different streams shown here can take modules from the other streams. So if you're a biology student in TRO60, you have the opportunity to take physics or geoscience modules. If you're a physical sciences student in TRO63, you have options to take chemistry or biology. This ensures that even though you're specialising in a particular area of science, you receive a broad education in all sciences. You'll also take modules outside of science, for example, in science education and communication, or in the history, philosophy and ethics of science. This is intended to develop further breadth and context in your science education and to highlight the importance of scientific research and discoveries to the whole of society. And again, in your final two years, you'll specialise in one particular area within the degree and you will become an expert in that area. The degrees in mathematics and theoretical physics have a slightly different structure to the four science degrees I've just described. So to start with mathematics, you might be interested in studying mathematics if you love maths and are interested in problem solving and abstract reasoning. You have quite flexible options within a mathematics degree. You can study mathematics as a single honours subject and you'll have the opportunity to take up a minor subject during your degree as shown on the left. There's a wide range of options open to you for your minor subjects, and these are listed here in the first bullet point. Alternatively, you can enter the joint honours programme, as shown on the right, and you have the choice then to drop one of the subjects and complete with single honours in mathematics, or else complete a major in maths with a minor subject, or complete a joint degree in maths with one of the subjects listed on the slide. So there's enormous flexibility to shape your maths degree according to your own academic interests. The degree in theoretical physics is taught by both the School of Mathematics and the School of Physics and is perfect for students who know they have a deep interest in both these subjects. It has a professional curriculum structure and is accredited by the Institute of Physics. You'll see that the curriculum is very structured and doesn't have the same extent of flexibility during its four years as the degrees I've already described but you still have the option to choose modules outside of your core subjects during your degree. In all of the six degrees I've described so far, you also have the opportunity to take Trinity elective modules. These are modules completely outside of your degree subjects, and they're designed to expose students to other areas of academic scholarship in other faculties, and therefore broaden their education. The modules include languages and cultures, for example, Korean, Japanese, Irish Sign Language, and all the modern European languages. Grand societal challenges such as cancer, human migration, and internet security. Or modules that are focused on Trinity's research excellence in all manner of fields. So you have a chance to step completely outside your own area and learn something new from Trinity experts outside your faculty. The final feature is the Capstone Project. This is a research project you'll undertake in your final year alongside one of Trinity's leaders in science or mathematics. It's an opportunity to make new findings and make an original contribution to research. And it's the culmination of all of your training throughout the four years of your degree. So by being exposed to these features of a Trinity education, you can broaden your experience and perspective beyond your core subjects and deepen your understanding of your subject. Through them, you develop the Trinity graduate attributes that equip you for your future and for lifelong learning to think independently, to communicate effectively, to develop continuously and to act responsibly. With these attributes and with a Trinity degree in science or maths, you have many career options. This graph shows the pathways that our students generally take. Many of our students will become professional scientists or mathematicians. They undertake further training and generally work in research in universities or in the private sector. About another third don't become scientists or mathematicians, but they use their knowledge and qualifications in teaching, medicine, science journalism, law, or a variety of other careers. And about another third 
don't use their scientific knowledge in their jobs, but they will use the analytical and other skills they've learned. For example, many of our graduates go on to work in the financial, <clears throat> financial services sector. So as a Trinity student, you have four enjoyable years to spend learning with us and a bright future ahead. Please check our website at the Faculty of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics for more information about our courses and Think Trinity.